Hello everyone, this is Hello Adrien 1205 and I'm here today with a new C Sharp tutorial. I haven't been doing them for a long time. I got a new computer, that's new basically. So this computer has an i7 which will be better for the video quality and and the speed of what my computer is working in. I haven't been able to make these tutorials mainly because that my computer froze whenever I try to capture. Alright, so I am going to teach you how to use an array and what the difference is between an array and a normal string int variable, you know. So, so let's call this array, array tutorial. Basically, I like working with the uh, console application it's quicker than the uh, visual aspect so basically an array is a group of ints and strings and you can access them through their number in the array so let's just say I'm gonna create an int array in 32 basically those uh, open and close tags here these things they uh, they mean array basically you declare an array with that and then you can give it a name like test array and then new so basically what this line of code says it says it's an Oh, right, I forgot to uh, say how much numbers were there. Sorry. Basically, what this says is I wanted to create an int32 array. And it is called test array. And it must equal to a new int32 array with 10 items. And with 10 items, we mean. Uh, let me just uh, put a little comment right here. We always count from here to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is all the information of the array. So in this tutorial I'm going to cover uh, arrays and while loops. Because I need a while loop. Uh, basically something that's pretty handy. You can uh, either say like... Um, test array 1 equals 12 and fill it with random numbers you know and then say test error 2 or test error 3 test error 2. there's also another way um, of declaring arrays with the brackets there I just gave my array two numbers but that is irrelevant it's it's easy when you know what the array is supposed to be filled with, but for now we will just do it like this. So I will be covering a while loop here. Uh, basically, what you need in a while is at least one int that is not going to be used in the entire scripting except for whiles. So while that i lower than 10 because we have 10 items and he's now going to crash because I didn't give i a value which we will make in 0 and then you just say i++ which is the shorter version of this it's the shorter version of it I think it's handier but you might have another opinion um, so basically what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be creating a random number so I didn't say we're going to cover it but I just think it's easier than just to make it up on your head and then when you refresh you get another random number which is more fun basically um, so basically you make a random which you can call anything I call it random with a, with a small r uh, equals new and that's it 
basically you make a random called random and it needs to e it needs to equal a new random so and then you say random dot next so basically he's going to create a next random int and then between the one and the thousand there now basically it doesn't do anything yet so we have to create an int which we will call random number which it generates or yeah you could do that but that is kind of a way around it I think this is easier this is what I wanted to do but I forgot I do that a lot test array and here comes that I again here the I just pops up here again basically what I do is I want him to go up until 9 this I will count up to 9 each and every time the while is performed so basically what this does is it makes uh, a ran we make a random and then the test array I meaning the value of the time the value of i, which is the number of times we did the while loop. So basically, if this is the third while loop that it does, if it if he did this three times, or at least he's doing it for the third time, then this will be a three. So basically, the the array will equal the number he creates here. So it's very hard to explain. So we will just so right line. So a right line. Uh, yeah, I think this is the best way to do it. Zero, one, two, three. Or this is just me outputting the uh, array for a second. Let's see. Seven, eight, nine. And then basically test array. Or, you know what, this is going to take like a very long time. And I like taking shortcuts. So, no, wait, let's use a for each loop actually. It's no, 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 no. I can basically use a while here. It's no more than 10. Yes, I know. No, wait, I don't know. God, I really need to prepare these tutorials. Ah, never mind. We'll just do it like this. Console. That's right. Test array. Aye. There. That is the easiest and shortest way. Yeah, uh, this might look a little messy uh, the way I did it, but that's mainly because I didn't prepare the tutorial before I did it, so. Oh, that is not supposed to happen. That is not supposed to happen. Ah, he does it the 10th time. Damn it. Just do that. And we need to put a console not read key in here. Otherwise, we won't be able to read it. Hmm. It appears I have forgotten to put a line in it. Basically, he created the number 565. And he uses that same number over and over again because he doesn't because he keeps creating the same random. Here, there. Now see ten random integers. Now basically what went wrong, I had to random, the, I created the random again here. So he keeps generating the same number. But you put him outside of the while, he only creates a random once and then he goes next, 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 you know. So I hope you like this short tutorial and uh, click the subscribe button. I do a lot more videos and I ha also have a Call of Duty channel. Uh, which you can check out if you're into that stuff. Um, 
So this is me signing out, I guess.